on, on board. Uh, and what was your first reaction the moment the maker of this series asked you to be on board? Uh, to be honest, I was very excited because, um, firstly, that's my personality also. Uh, but I was very excited because it's the first time we are making a period drama or something that's set in a different era in uh, Indian OTT. So that, that in itself is quite interesting because if you see these days, a lot of stories are sort of similar, similar setup, small town stories. So this is very in its own um, vibe. And it's larger than life, very, very aesthetically shot. But answering your question, when it came to me on paper also it looked great. But now from paper to the execution and how we've created Parashpur, it's looking even better. So obviously I was very happy to be a part of it. What is the what is director brief about, about your character in, in the series? So when, so when actually I'm playing uh, Nritya Guru, that's the dance teacher. It sounds, actually it doesn't even sound simple, but it still is simpler than what I'm doing in this series. This series has a lot of twists and turns, firstly. And uh, Ritya Guru is, and I can't tell you what is he responsible or for or not, but uh, he's very layered as a person. So when I say layered, it automatically becomes very interesting for an actor to play a part like that because we, every episode, you will see something really interesting as far as uh, my inputs would be uh, in Parashpur. So, it's, uh, so anything that's layered, anything that has a different uh, side to him, anything that's not just one tone or unitone is always interesting for an actor. I mean, you're, you're, you, you have been paired with, of course, this million, million. Right. Uh, how, does, how, was your, how was your first day, you know, where the very first shot or the very first scene with Milan, your experience with him? Right. Uh, have you been told that I've been paired opposite Milan though? You're just taking a guess. You're taking a guess. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, wow. It will see, it will see for, you know, yeah. you don't the, realize it. There, there's something fishy between you and Milan. <laughs> <laughs> something fishy. Actually, it's a, uh, quite an observation, I must say. But um, who am I paired opposite and why am I paired opposite who? And uh, that is something you have to watch the series for. But Milan and I also obviously have a lot of screen time together. And um, your guess now, I can't comment on that because you clearly, you're very sharp. You could have, you would have caught me in a second. If I didn't ask you that, have you been told? I would have answered like, but uh, you'll have to watch the series to see if Milind and I are paired opposite each, e opposite each other and uh, why are we paired opposite each other if that's the case. So like I said, because you know, this is the kind of series where the script is, I think one of her highlights. The way it's shot is obviously also very, is one of the, I would say key pointers and the cast and everything, but the script is the strongest point. So this is not a very simple story where you can say oh, A is paired with B and B falls in love with C, so now there's an issue. No, it's not that simple. It's way more complicated than that and uh, hopefully people would like that. There's a response, there's a mixed response when you talk about you know, whatever is out in Gee. media and social media, whether it's hmm. teaser or the trailer. Right. It's a very bold subject. Right. Uh, what's your take on you know, the boldness of this series? Is, uh, is, 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 a is it a, is it bold? I don't know. I I I don't know. Is it? I don't know. What do you think? Is it like bold? It's for not about me being alone. It's, you know, there yeah. are yeah. there are people coming in. There are fans. In there you can see the comment rules. Right. And it is it is bold in the current scenario. And you know right. what right. Are we being in India is going through. There are, right. there are you know some suddenly right. some out of the blue some party comes in the picture and says political yeah. party and says right. this you, is I'm upset about huh. this. Yes. So you know. Uh, Mr. Khan, I'll tell you one thing, like I think sometimes if somebody has to get offended, they will get offended on you eating an apple or having coffee. It's 2020, the only responsibility as filmmakers or as actors that we have is when we are representing some community or we are representing something, it has to be done with a lot of respect and responsibility. Nobody should feel offended from their hearts. The idea is not to hurt anybody's sentiments genuinely. Some people get upset about things that I know what you mean, like some, they might get, but I think if you've seen the teaser, the trailer, everything, um, if you're talking about the boldness of it, which I don't really understand what that means, but it's shot very aesthetically. When you'll watch it, I'm sure if I'll speak to you then, and if you, you'll probably call me and say, Sahil, yes, you were right, it's shot so beautifully. Sometimes when we watch uh, international shows, it's not that our show is about sexuality or about anything that is bold for some people. It's about a lot of elements. It's a lot of elements coming together. So likewise, when we watch a lot of international shows, there are a lot of elements that come together. The, whole, the only responsibility as creative people is that you have to shoot it 
in a beautiful way and an aesthetic way. And I think we have definitely succeeded in that. And when everybody will watch it, they will 100% agree. See, there's, there's, also, there's also a feeling, you know, undercurrent. It, it also gives a message about women empowerment. Right. What's your take on that? Uh, it's, it's, carrying a, it's carrying a, you know, when you see the teaser and trailer, it was live at the end of the day. Right. It's a war between, uh, you know, against male-dominated society. Right. But women empowerment is something I stand for. I would love to be the face of women empowerment, you know, like with the women. I think that is something we need globally and especially in India. I, I'm sorry, but in, in India, the state of women, when we talk about women, you know, it's not about the wonderful, successful girls we have or ladies we have in Bombay. We are talking about the small cities, the rural small areas. towns, rural areas. So wherever we can talk about positive subjects like these and show them in the right way and inspire people to stand up for their rights, be it women, be it kids, be it anybody. It's always good. So I think I'm all for it. And yes, you're right. You've got it absolutely correct. Women empowerment is obviously one of the major things in our uh, series. I would say one of the main key points. So I think it's great. and I'm very proud of it that we are showing such a positive scenario. Yesterday I've spoken to Shilpa and she said right. it's, it's, a, it's a blend of Utsav and Kamasutra. Oh, did she say that? She said that? Oh, so <laughs> Shilpa is wonderful. Shilpa and I get along very well. We have a lot of screen time together and uh, we are very fond of each other. Everybody loves her. She's so sweet. Uh, no, she, she said it's a blend of Utsav and Kama Sutra. Actually, I haven't seen Utsav, <laughs> so I can't comment. I haven't seen Kama Sutra, so I can't comment. And, uh, but I know Kama Sutra and I think we are the land of Kama Sutra. But uh, that's, I think it's a wonderful comment from Shilpa, but I'll have to speak to her to know uh, what she meant. Rekha ji, I know, I, I, but again, Re, we, I know I've seen clippings and I know Utsav was also quite a cult uh, movie in that time. I, I'm very aware, but unfortunately, I don't think I was there in the world then, so I didn't really watch it. But um, I don't know, Shilpa said it, so I'm sure she means it in the right way. Uh, do, do you consider it as a compliment, you know, you, when you say, or somebody says, who, who are part of Horror Stories, hmm. it's a blend of Utsav was a larger than life film. Hmm. Utsav too. Utsav was a larger than life film, you're saying. So the, I think it's a compliment. I see some comparisons that are happening with uh, Game of Thrones that somebody, somebody just mentioned about Padmavad. But I would like to say that as an actor, when I do something, you know, like it's, for me, Parashpur is Parashpur. Like the idea is never to get uh, ref a reference point and even for us when we were filming there was no reference point we are not trying to recreate something we are trying to create something new on its own but if you're going to compare it to some um, cult movies it's a compliment you know that's always a compliment and um, and if like you're saying Utsav and Kama Sutra were such big wonderful films so I, I say that's a compliment do you, do you still consider yeah, I'm right. talking about Bollywood right or India right still a male dominated society Unfortunately, I would say yes. I would say yes. Yeah. I, yes, I think so. And I think as, yeah, I, I, would, I would like to believe that. It's, it's, it's just that the girls I know, my family, we are very equals. Like me and my sister have the same rights. You know, if I step out at night, she can step out at night. If I can't drink and drive, she cannot drink and drive. It's not that. But it's not about my family. It's not about my friend circle. It's about, I'm talking about probably a girl in Agra. I'm probably, you know, who's probably not... Um, so aware of her rights. So I think it is slightly male dominated, but it's changing also, I would like to say. I think women are more aware of what they can achieve and what they stand for. So I think it's changing, but there's much more that has to be done. Wonderful. I think he's a legend. I'm uh, obsessed with his work and um, he's, he's got, I think, I love his voice. He's got a very good voice, you know, like I told him also, I said, you say any dialogue. It'll work. <laughs> you know, you can say, hi, how are you? <laughs> It'll suddenly be the key dialogue. Because he's such a legend and of course I'm a huge, huge fan and with uh, all my heart and everybody is. You know, Anu Kapoor, Anuji is, is, that, is that bracket of actors. Everybody loves him, you know, like there's, you cannot have a mixed opinion on Anuji. Everybody loves him and his, especially for his craft and, you know, what he brings on screen.